Okay. I'm back. <laughs> I had to cut that video short or whatever. Um, I hope that, oh my gosh, I hope that that video isn't too long for Facebook and YouTube. I have to keep track, keep up with my time and stuff like that. Because um, I tried to load like a 20 minute video <laughs> up on Facebook. And they said that um, that their videos have like a 20 minute limit, but I guess they were lying because... <laughs> Actually, my video was like 16 minutes that I tried to load. Um, it was my Music Theory 4 presentation that I just recently um, put up. But I ended up having to go to Mashburn, a friend that referred that building to me and everything. And um, I went there and had that video split into two parts, like two separate videos and everything. So, um, so that worked out even better and I was able to load it on Facebook and YouTube then. So. Sorry about the sudden, like, cut off or whatever. <laughs> um, but basically, oh my goodness, you guys. This book is so amazing. I wanted to share with you some of the music theory that's going on in, I think, Turkey? Yeah, in Turkey. That's page 175. So I'm going to look that up real quick. I've been really interested in... Um, and Middle Eastern music lately. I think I've always been interested in it, but I just didn't know I was. Where is this um, country? Okay, let me look at page 169, because that's where Arabic countries start. So, page 169. Where are you? Yeah, <laughs> this is some fun stuff. Okay, okay. So you know how when you listen to to Middle Eastern music and stuff like that, like how the instruments just blend and morph. You know, it feels like you know every note, every single one of their notes, like just kind of blend and morph, like with the music and stuff like that, and like. And the singers, oh my gosh, like, they're doing the same thing as the instruments are. And that just amazes me. And this is how, this is why they're able to do that and blend and, and morph so well and make their music go so well, um, flow so well. Um, it's because they use, they divide their octaves into 24 semi or quarter tones. Um, they have notes in between half steps. So, okay, for those of you who don't know what a half step is, going from C to C sharp is like a half step, okay? But these people, I mean, they have notes within their half steps that that they sing and that they play. And um, <laughs> my friend of mine, um, Jeremy from class, he was just, um, we were kind of joking about that or whatever. He was kind of joking about, like, it'd be cool if <laughs> if we made, like, a piano like that. <laughs> that had like 24 notes within each octave and I was able to tell them <laughs> from reading this book, praise the Lord, that um, that there's there's actually an instrument that divides all these 24 tones like in this instrument and that I, I just think that is just amazing. Um, and it is called, what is it called? What is it, what is it called? Oh, it's on the other page, hang on. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Okay. It's called a timbre, and I think it's a t type of lute. Let me read the sentence for you. Um, this book says, um, it says, exact observations of even the slightest shades and the melodic steps are made possible by the long-necked timbre. And they're, the melodic steps that they're, that they're talking about is this 24 semi-quarter tone scale system that they use that um, um, yeah, Arabic countries use in their music. I'm going to have to read up on more of this. This is amazing. Um, they said, um, exact observations of even the slightest shades and the melodic steps are made possible by the long neck timbre, which, um, with its 24 frets, 
is a perfect embodiment of the Persian slash American musical system. And that is just, oh my gosh. <laughs> That's the neatest thing in the world. Like, that is just so cool to me. I mean, like, whoa. <laughs> you know, like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I just found out, like, how you, um, how you write, like, okay, the notes and the quarter tones, like, in between each half step is, um, you have to write it a certain way. You know how you write a regular sharp, which is, you know, four lines. Well, these sharps are called, um, one quarter sharp. You have a one quarter sharp or a three quarter sharp. And then in between half steps, um, are also what you call one quarter and three quarter flats. So this is like just all like so new to me and everything. It's so surreal and everything. Um, Dr. Dickinson, he came in. He's my composition teacher, by the way. He's helping me um, to write sheet music and to perfect it and to master that skill a lot better and everything. And um, basically, um, so he comes in um, for one of our Theory 4 courses and um, like just teaches a lecture on these semitones and on these quarter tones and how he did like a whole um, quartet, you know, like a, um, a string quartet with semitones, with these quarter tones in the music. And um, let me see, he had like a picture of what um, these sharps, these special sharps and flats look like. And it's just, it's so amazing. I'm going to draw it for you real quick. Just wait just a second. And this vlog isn't going to be too much longer because I'm going to um, go play checkers with my sister in a little bit. But hold on just a second. I'm coming. I'm not going to turn it off. <laughs> 